Ash Ali gets his boxing license suspended from the British Boxing Board of Control. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Remstar says so. Now, if you're like me and you ended up watching that terrible Saturday night uh, Sky Sports matchroom boxing card um, that Eddie Hearn put on, you would have seen the undercard fight between Cash Ali and David Price. Um, this was a fight that I was really looking forward to watching, especially because of the build-up of the fight. Um, in the build-up, especially like the press conferences and the weigh-ins and all that, Cash Ali was calling David Price a quitter, saying that David Price weren't shit and that he was going to rearrange Price's face and make and make David Price take a knee or retire on his stool or something like that. Um, and this was the first time that Cash Ali ever sort of stepped up to fighting on the big stage. I don't know who promotes this man, but I don't think I've ever seen him fight on TV before. Um, most of his fights I've seen have always been that sort of clips on YouTube. I don't know who his main promoter is and what broadcast network he generally likes to fight on. But I've never really seen him live. But from what I've seen of him, I knew that he weren't shit. Now, at the beginning of the fight, David Price, he was the more physical, more aggressive guy. He was sort of throwing big bangs, threw a few decent little jabs here, there, and everywhere. And Cash Ali just looked like, from the get-go, um, he just wasn't going to be able to survive with Price. Um, watching this fight, I do remember that there was a bit of a turning point, though. Um, and I do think that um, David Price, he started to sort of fade away. Um, I think it was around round five. David Price reminds me of one of those guys who, you know, he's going to give his all for four or five rounds, uh, try and take your head off. And then after that, like, he's just there for the pickings. David Price is just a knockout waiting to happen. I've heard a couple people say that recently, and I couldn't agree more. David Price, I don't know, in that fifth round or towards the end of the fourth, he did look like he was starting to tire. And if Cash Ali didn't turn into an absolute pagan, he might have been able to get the job done. All Cash Ali had to do was sort of hit, stay low, work his way in and start working the body. But obviously he felt David Price's power. Now, if you're familiar with David Price, uh, one thing that you do know about David Price is that he can bang. He's a six foot eight mammoth of a man, and he can punch bloody hard. If you remember him versus Povetkin, he almost knocked Povetkin out, sent him flying into the turnbuckle. And if it wasn't for that turnbuckle, it would have been a knockdown, and who knows what could have happened. David Price is a huge man, um, and even Anthony Joshua has admitted that David Price once knocks him out before when Anthony Joshua was coming up in sparring. But Cash Ali, he, um, he just knew what was happening. Uh, David Price was too much for him. He was absolutely sort of battering him and he couldn't weather the storm. And then Cash Ali started grabbing him and then he started biting him. And I think he bit D uh, David Price maybe about two or three times before the referee had to disqualify him. Um, in one, from the first, from the first time the referee saw Cash Ali sort of biting Price, he sort of pulled him off him and told him to stop doing it and told him that he'd get disqualified. And, you know, I think Cash Ali was just trying to get an easy way out. The guy who accrued, the guy who accused David Price of being a quitter, um, all he did was run away and quit himself. Um, Cash Ali should feel ashamed of himself. He put in possibly the worst performance I've seen in a boxing ring in some time. Um, and I think he just came up for the payday. I don't know how much Eddie Hearn paid this guy, but as I said, he's not known to the big TV circuits, and it was probably a career-high payday anyway, and he just thought to himself, fuck it, I'm going to get out. Um, the thing about Cash Ali is that, as I said, I think he's like an area champion or something like that. Um, I don't know who promotes him, if he's promoted at all, but his license is gone. We're not going to see Cash Ali in a boxing ring anytime soon. And at 27 years old, if he gets a ban for a year, two years, three years, I mean, a guy as shit as him, like, what is he really going to have to offer coming back? He's ranked number 19 in Britain. Um, and, you know, 
he had an undefeated record going into that fight of 15 and 0 with seven KOs, but that didn't really mean anything. David Price looked like the better fighter, and Cash Ali just wasn't prepared to weather the storm. I do think had Cash Ali had sort of, you know, flown with the punches a little bit and sort of tried to work his way inside, he probably could have got him out there because I think that David Price is a terrible boxer. David Price is now talking about fighting the winner of um, Dave Allen versus Lucas Brown, and that's one fight that I'd like to see because I think that Dave Allen irons him out, and I think after that, I think Dave Price has got to give it up. Um, he's nothing more than a glorified journeyman. I mean, Eddie Hearn would love to make out that, like, you know, he's still got something to offer, and um, Eddie Hearn would make out that he's no more, no worse than a gatekeeper. But for me, he's lost five times already, all five times coming by a knockout. Um, I think the worst one was the Povetkin fight um, on the Joseph Parker undercard, um, and then his very next fight, he got knocked out by Sergey Kuzmin. Um, that was a devastating knockout as well. Um, he's also been knocked out by Christian Hammer for the European title. He's been knocked out twice by Tony Thompson. Um, David Price, to me, is nothing more than a joke. I think David Price's greatest win was knocking out Audley Harrison when Audley Harrison was nothing more than, like, a gatekeeper himself. Um, and he's just got nothing to offer this division right now. I would love for David Price just to hang up his boxing gloves and get into some sort of commentary or punditry or just fuck off and never let me see him on my screen again because uh, I just think that he's a joke. Um, he shows up for paychecks and you know what? Fair play to him. And the fact is, if I got in the ring with David Price, he'd iron me up. Um, but I'm not a professional boxer. And if I can see that he needs to give it up, he needs to just know it's time to just fuck this off. Um, the fact is, when you're fighting at such a shit level... Maybe the money's not good, so maybe he has to keep getting in the ring and getting sparked out by Povetkins and Hammers <laughs> and all those sort of guys because maybe he just knows that maybe he hasn't got enough money where he can retire for the rest of his life. Um, but I don't know. I just find the man very embarrassing. Anyway, guys, let me know your thoughts. What did you think of that fight? Hit like, hit subscribe, leave me a comment and share this video. That's the end of the show because Remstar says so. Oh,